Hey folks, Arizona guy here. It is January 27th, 2023. It's another day in the Biden-Harris America. Phoenix, Arizona today, it is a beautiful 62 degrees. Price for a gallon of gas is back up to $3.53. Amazing. Price for a gallon of gas under President Trump was $2. So Biden has increased the price of gas by a dollar 53 cents now. So anyway, I want to talk to you today about the Paul Pelosi attack. This David DePape, they finally released the police body cam footage and I will place a link for that video in the description. So it finally got released and the very weird thing about it is so everything you saw on the news depicted this David DePape as some squirrely little dude that lived in an abandoned school bus in his girlfriend's driveway or something whatever that story was but when you watch the actual police body cam footage you will see for yourself that this David DePape is not some little scrawny dude that the media wanted to portray. This David DePape guy is a big obese man and the video even shows his ugly butt crack when the police are handcuffing him. So you have to ask yourself why was the media apparently using old photographs of this David DePape when he was a much smaller person because the man in the video is clearly unshaven and he is obese he is quite large and you also have to ask yourself after watching this video when the door opens Paul Pelosi opens the door for the police and one thing watch how the police knock on the door they just go tap 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 when the police came to my home the morning I had the water leak in the driveway, they pounded on the door. They didn't just tap, 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 which I thought was sort of unusual for the police to not really pound on the door and say, San Francisco PD, open the door. There really wasn't any of that. They just lightly tapped on the door, and then the door is opened by Paul Pelosi. Once the door is open, you can see Mr. Pelosi has a hold of the hammer itself, not the handle, the hammer itself, because the hammer is in the hands of this large man, apparently David DePape. And then the police simply ask, you know, what is going on here? They tell the large man to put down the hammer, which he does not. And at that point, I don't know why the San Francisco Police Department didn't just taser 
the large man. They didn't even draw their guns on the large man holding the hammer, which is sort of weird, I think, anyway. Once they tell the large man, apparently David the Pape, to put down the hammer, as Paul Pelosi steps away, the large man swings the hammer and hits him. Then the cops jump on him and take him to the ground, and they have a hell of a time handcuffing this guy who the media always depicted as being a small, wiry man that lived in an abandoned school bus. So, it's just, the whole story is kind of strange. And if you go and listen to the actual call that apparently Paul Pelosi made from his bathroom on his cell phone, he never actually said that this the Pape guy is a friend. The media also got that screwed up. What it the phone call actually says is this guy is in the Pelosi house and this guy says, you know, Paul tells the police that this guy says he's a friend of mine. But I do not even know him. So the media sort of left that part out when they were reporting on the police 911 call from Paul Pelosi. He did not say the guy is a friend. He said the guy says he's a friend. And then Paul Pelosi says... He says he's a friend, but I don't know who he is. So the media even was untruthful about the 911 call. So folks, I don't know, man. How do we get a media that we can trust with the actual facts and evidence? I'll tell you what, in defense of Paul Pelosi, he is lucky to be alive. When a person that large is swinging a hammer at your head, Paul Pelosi is very fortunate not to have been killed in that attack. <clears throat> but we still don't know what David DePape's reasoning was for being in the Pelosi home. And there's also surveillance video. You know, the Pelosi home has surveillance cameras and there's footage from the surveillance cameras of this large man breaking a window and entering the house. So there's just a, still a lot of stuff that we don't know about this Paul Pelosi hammer attack incident. But anyway, watch the video. Decide for yourselves. That's pretty much what I have for you today. But let's try to force our media to be a bit more truthful when reporting stories because in this Paul Pelosi case they have certainly left a lot of stuff out and people had to sue in order to get this video so there were people that did not want this video release to the public. So anyway, it's out there. I'll post a link for it. You watch it. You decide. Have a wonderful day. Arizona guy.